This time we are going to talk about the continuity equation that deals with determining the rate of flow of liquids that flow in a steady form, not a turbulent form. So if we have a liquid of a certain volume that flows uh, through this tube that's wide up here and then it narrows down there. Okay, if we have a beaker that contains this amount of liquid and we want to put the same amount of liquid in a narrow test tube like that, we would imagine that the level of water in the tube could reach this height instead of this height. This is due to the change in the cross-sectional area and the heights and stuff like that. It's the same point here. Uh, here we're dealing with a certain volume of the leak. As long as the volume is constant, no matter how I change the dimensions, like x here, which is the distance, moved by the liquid, or I change the cross-sectional area, which is A1, and this is X1. Like, it's, uh, for example, 4 by 2, it's just the same like 8 by 1, or 1 by 8, or 2 by 4. They all give me the same result. It's 8, uh, for example, cubic centimeter. These are all different dimensions, but they give me the same volume. So when the liquid moves and passes from this um, wide part of the tube to the narrow part, it will extend like that. So the cross-sectional area decreases and the distance here will increase. And we are talking relative to a uh, certain point of time. So if the liquid takes uh, two seconds, for example, to cover this area, it also takes two seconds to cover this area. It also takes two seconds to cover this area. Okay. Now, in order to apply the continuity equation, the amount of liquid entering the tube at one point must equal the amount of liquid exiting the tube at the other point at a constant point of time. That's what we were uh, talking about right now. Okay. Um, here, there is something called the volume rate of flow volume rate of flow. What would we imagine the volume rate of flow will equal? It's called QV. V is denoting the volume. Well, it equals A1 for, uh, for this area. Here's 1 and here is 2. So QV1 equals A1 by V1. A1 by V1. So uh, V1 is the velocity and A1 is the cross sectional area. Why is the volume rate? Because here, area and the volume equals the area by the distance here. This is the volume of water. So it's area by D over time because velocity equals d over time, or here x, or x, x over time. So a by x is the volume over the time. Well, the time is constant, so this actually equals the volume. And qv2 equals a2 v2, the cross-sectional area at the second part, multiplied by the velocity at that point, and it does the same thing. If we look at this in another way, 
as we said that the volume equals uh, A1 multiplied by uh, X1 over T and A2 multiplied by X2 over T. Here the T, as we said, is a constant. It's the same value. So we can just neglect the T. We will come to the same conclusion that the volume is constant because actually uh, these two values must um, have the same value because the volume is the same. At that point, we can uh, say that A1, V1 equals A2, V2. And from this equation, we can deduce the continuity equation that uh, that's A1 over A2 is inversely proportional to the velocity of liquid. So A1 over A2 equals V2 over V1.